we would like to wish you, our listeners, a very happy holiday. Yes. Happy holidays. From Ooh, it's going to be like after Christmas next time. I boot. know. I know. Hmm. 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 <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Boop Snoots. My name is Vero. And I'm Heidi, or Haidushka, as some like to call me. (laughs) (laughs) Haidushka. (laughs) Haidushka. Today we're going to talk about winter. Winter. And your doggo. And doggos and doggo gifts of all different kinds. (laughs) (laughs) La, 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 la. (laughs) And it's going to be a musical episode. (laughs) No, it's not. No, it's not. Keep listening. We'll save you from that. (laughs) (laughs) Don't turn it off, folks. Don't turn it off. Um, I've got a story before we start. (laughs) Do you now? (laughs) I do. Shocker. I've got a story for you. So um, this started a while, well, I want to say like two summers ago. And it wasn't happening often, but Gibbon, my Weimarana, started this little habit that he does and not often but from time to time he pees on other dogs (laughs) so he pees on my other dog Becky and it's always when she's peeing so when she squats for a pee he comes and lifts his leg and pees on her (laughs) are they double peeing yeah they're like pee brothers and sisters (laughs) maybe that's what it is (laughs) He's like, pee brothers stream. and sisters. <laughs> Double stream. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anyways, so I would yell at him and get him to stop. And then when my dad was dog sitting him for me back in the summer, he peed on my dad's dog. <laughs> I thought going to say he peed on your dad. <laughs> no, never on humans, only That's on other good. doggos. Can and, you imagine? Oh, I would be so mad. That would be something that I would like e-call like I'd have to go to the e-caller for that one Mm -hmm. or something but anyways and then uh today we went for a walk in the dog park and there was a very small dog and I don't remember what it looked like it was like a tiny like Bichon something fluffy like a very tiny dog like a under 10 pounder for sure (laughs) with a beautiful little winter coat on cute and uh he was uh or she was, I should say, squatting for her peepees, and Gibbon came along and took a sniff and peed all over this dog. And I was like, oh, no! <laughs> and then the owner was like, it's okay. And I'm like, well, it's not okay, but I'm really sorry. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, it's okay, honestly, it's okay. She's like, those things wash really easily. And I was like, I'm like, I could take it home and wash it for you. <laughs> she's like, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm like, okay. I'm like, sorry. And we just like kept on walking. But he peed on a stranger oh my God. dog, and it was so embarrassing. Given no. So anyway, so I came home and I googled why is my dog peeing on other dogs? He's like it's, mine. It's a dominance thing for sure. Yeah, it is. So it just like I read a couple of articles on like marking and territory and and stuff, and that there are dogs that pee on their humans or pee like in their house constantly to like mark their stuff, and it very much oh is God. like a territorial dominance sort of issue that you just need to how do you stop that like let's say your dog pees in the house just because he's like a mine you well you would have to correct it so scraps used to be that way so my first dog officer scraps I can remember the first time like and my dad would come over and walk him all the time he was like the first dog that I had and my dad had retired like roughly around the same time that I got officer scraps And so my dad started walking him all the time. And then my dad was like, hey, he was retired. So spending more time up at the family cottage. And he was like, do you mind if I take scraps with me? And I was like, sure, go ahead. And then that's when part-time custody of the dog started. (laughs) (laughs) Of all dogs here and forward after that weekend of cottage uh, scrappy. Anyways, and um, like scraps was fine at the cottage and everything. But I remember taking him over to my dad's house for the first time. And they've always had a dog as well, but like they've had huskies. So my dad wouldn't take them up to the cottage because he can't let them loose because they take off and never come back again. 
And um, so I remember taking scraps into my dad's house and he literally walked and this was before I had doggo knowledge. So I didn't leave the leash on him and I wasn't watching. And he literally walked right in and lifted his leg and peed on their couch. And I was like, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently, like, and then he would do that every time he went over. Was it always the same spot? No, he would pee on, like, a corner of the kitchen, like, on the couch. Like, he would just pee, and I don't know if it's because the other dog was there. And he was like, no, Opa's mine. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And was just, yeah, would, like, pee around the house. I don't know. Hmm. But I'm glad it's just, like, other dogs and not in the house. Yeah. Thank God. Would he pee? Does he pee on Becky in the house or only when she's peeing? No, only when she's peeing outside. Okay. He always like he kept he gets them while they're vulnerable. Like they're squatting <laughs> like mid pee. And then he goes and lifts a leg and pees on them. Like like so almost weird. like in the same place that they're peeing. So I don't know if he's like, oh no, you don't, thinking like he's marking it, but really he's like pee, like forgetting that there's a dog in the way. So he's like peeing <laughs> Between on them. The- <laughs> <laughs> give it. I don't know but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him I keep saying that I'm gonna e-collar train him but I really think I do have to e-collar train him I think or, I have you to know. e-collar train Ralph yeah yeah well maybe that's something that we can do together yeah so e-collar together <laughs> <Boop>. <laughs> I saw a husky was it earlier this week mm-hmm. or last week I can't remember. <laughs> he was loose. So Ralph was in the window, just like watching people go by and he's barking because there's a dog and there's a husky and the husky is just loose. And there is three people walking like further away. Mm-hmm. And there was a dog, a dog that was coming. There was a car that was coming slowly, almost like he was trying to not hit the dog. So he was just driving slowly. Yeah. So then the people that were walking caught the dog, was holding him like by the scruff because he didn't have a collar on. Mm. So I opened my door and I'm like, do you guys need a leash or something? Is this your dog? And then they're like, oh, yeah, we wouldn't be feeding like a strange dog because I guess they had treats. Yeah. And then they let him loose again. Oh. And they were just like walking their dog like that. They're like, oh, yeah, we just want to like make the puppy run around because he gets full of energy that's weird that is weird eh yeah that's weird do not walk your dog like that especially well, a puppy a, pu- a puppy husky especially a puppy husky <laughs> <laughs> like that's asking for trouble man yeah and there's a lot of busy streets close by to your place mm-hmm. that husky poops runs out into there yeah i don't he's, know he's husky roadkill <laughs> yeah yeah. And I was like, okay. Oh my God. Mm, That's strange. Bad. Maybe they're trying to do the hand feeding thing or the follow the treats thing. Like, I don't know, but still you got to keep a, you got to keep yeah, a leash he, on him. Yeah, because Ralph came out into his little chicken fence pen thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the husky came over to say hi. Oh. Yeah. He's oh. super cute. But oh, super cute. I was like, okay. Weird. So weird. And then... I also saw a, just a second, I'll get this pronunciation correct, mm-hmm. a Sholo Eats Quintley. And those are those like hairless dogs that have some hair on them? So it's the Mexican dogs. They are kind of hairless. They have, she had hair at the top of her head, kind of like punky. <laughs> um, I oh, saw yes. one in person. And was it hideous? And I scratched the her little chin. Oh. She was shy. Did she have hair? Oh, yes. Like a little bit of hair, like right on the top of their head. Yeah. Like, yeah, like mohawk. Oh, it almost looks like an Ibizan hound. Like the ones that we saw that are like more like, like they're very pharaoh dog like looking. Yeah. 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 Oh, my so I was God. Like, I'm like, is this your Mexican doggo? And she's like, Yes. I'm like, is she a rescue? And she's like, no. And I was like, oh, interesting. Okay. I was thinking of something else, like a different dog, not this one. Like the other, the ones that are like super hideous. (laughs) The Chinese something? Yes. The crest, the. Yes. Something, something. Yes, yes, yes. (laughs) 
<laughs> Chinese crested. Crested or crested? Crested. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Chinese crested dogs. Yes, those ones. Oh my God. I love Google Image <laughs> like so much. Like where, how was life before Google Image? Like, I don't know. I don't know because I love it because then you get like literally all the best photos of these things. <laughs> like there's one that oh like my God. legit looks like it's wearing like ski boots. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Or like a toupee. Yes. Oh my God. Oh man. That's funny. They look that so funny. funny. They do look so funny. So anyways, I saw one of those dogs. And That's cute. Was it friendly? It was just weird because it's it's almost like... Well, it's rare. Out of like, I don't know. Not out Mexi of context. Mexico? Me yeah. <laughs> out of me It's like out of Mexico. <laughs> out, of, out of Mexico. <laughs> like, she's probably so cold in the winter. Yeah. So, speaking so, of... Yes. Doggos in the winter. Mm-hmm. I found some care tips. So 15 winter care tips for your dog to prevent all sorts of stuff, including frostbites, hypothermia. Let's, I want to hear it. I want to hear it all because I got a short haired freezer. Yeah. So yeah. first one is let's talk about temperature. Yep. So I think this is a common question, especially when you're new to having a dog is when is it too cold for my dog? Because, you know, you think they have a big fur coat. But usually, I mean, some dogs have big fur coats like Samoids and Huskies. Samoids and Huskies. <laughs> Huskies. Newfoundlanders. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they're, they're better outside than, than most dogs. But usually, if you can't stand outside for very long, they you probably <laughs> they can't either. Yeah. So they recommend just taking, you know short walks more frequently instead of that longer walk um, they also recommend to go outside when the sun shines oh yeah so late morning or early afternoons well i can tell you even today i'm not even sure what the temperatures were but it felt a lot colder than it actually was in the shade of this dog park that we walked in and like and when we were at the sunny parts i was just like oh yes 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 yes, yes. it was cold on the face and like i'm glad because i don't usually put anything on gibbon but i put a wool sweater on him before mm -hmm. we went out but i'm sure there he was appreciated that definitely a chilly wind yes um limit outdoor time in the winter so yeah okay. frequent walks instead of one long walk yeah did i ever tell you yeah. the horrible story i think i did once on an episode a long time ago but we had a friend of the family that had this like old g shop named oh. uh do you remember yes. this yes. yes and uh he had a roommate like a friend living with him who he had like was doing a favor for kind of and anyway so our friend of the family his name is john john went to work like had to go to work early and his roommate um let the dog out and it was like minus 40 like weather like freezing like hurt to breathe like weather oh. and so his roommate let his dog out and um went back to sleep and fell asleep and left the dog out there and the dog froze to death. Oh my God. John was very upset. That was like his buddy. His name I was Cece. It. He was named after the Canadian whiskey, Canadian club. His name was Cece. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's Poor what they're Cece. saying here is that, you know, don't let your dog in the yard by himself for too long and to check mm -hmm. often. Yep. Oh Yeah. Um, it says here to get a cozy bed. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That's easier, you know, if your dog doesn't chew it. Like yep. some dogs do, like Ralph. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, keep him in a warm spot. Protect your dog from heaters. Oh. Or heating sources. Like we have a fireplace. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought you meant like putting, like some people will put a heating pad in their dog bed. And I'm thinking like, yeah, you got to watch out that they don't get like burns or something. Yeah. Or even like space heaters. Yeah. They might get burned. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. They go to sniff it and then burn their schnoz. Yes. Let's burn snoots. <laughs> Let's not burn snoots, folks. Let's not Let's burn not snoots. Burn snoots. <laughs> um, 
It's I not know toast Ralph. snoot. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph was very interested in the fireplace. So we have like a wood fireplace and uh, he goes close to it <laughs> and he like just stares at it. <laughs> and then he comes over and his head is like super warm. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can hear like the crackling. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, hmm? <laughs> he does like the head tilt and then he goes close to it to see what's going on. That's I think he funny. did like burn himself. We do have like a, a grid so he can't get in it. Yeah. But I think he went a little too close at some point because he jumped back. Oof. Oof. I was like, that's go- only going to happen once. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. It's just like kids. Some kids need to touch the fire. <laughs> <laughs> just they once need to touch the stove <laughs> just that one time and they remember <laughs> yep <laughs> yep um moisturize your dog moisturize your dog <laughs> moisturize your dog or where add supplements How? i guess like maybe if you do have a like a hairless <laughs> hairless dog like a mexican dog or a chinese you need, to, you need to moisturize your dog but i think they're talking about paws ears um, they say you can apply coconut oil. I'm not sure. I'm not sure yeah, you can. That. Yeah. 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 You can. Cause like some people put coconut oil, like in like their dog food and stuff like that. Yeah. So if they lick it, so it, it's not going to be harmful to them. Yeah. So that makes sense. Mm-hmm. And it makes um, sense with the paws too, but then you wonder if they're just going to lick it like they're raw. They're just going to lick it. Yeah. Put some doggy boots. Yeah. Put some coconut oil mixed with <laughs> cayenne pepper. <laughs> <laughs> then they will eat it. I'm Don't just do joking. That. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely won't like it, though. Yeah. This list is kind of funny. Um, oh, yeah. No overfeeding, please. That's what it says. So, so instead like it... of overfeeding your dog to have a nice layer of fat, <laughs> give him a cozy sweater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it said no overfeeding? Yeah. Oh, because people, like, what, try to, like, bulk up their dog for the winter? It sounds like it. That's hilarious. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Put a, swe- put a sweater on it. <laughs> Keep your dog hydrated. I guess that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yep. yep, 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 yep. I think a lot of dogs eat snow, but it says here it's not an adequate substitute for fresh water. They do no. eat a lot of snow, though. They do. And Um, when you think about it, and um, it can make them sick and like vomit because when you think about like pollution and stuff, it's kind of contaminated when you think about it. It's contaminated. It's contaminated. (laughs) But yes. Groom your dog to keep them properly insulated. And I think what's important here is um, depending on what type of dog you have in between the toes underneath. Yes. Make sure that's trim because then all the like salt and snowballs form right in underneath between their toesies. And that could really hurt their paws. And they shouldn't be licking the salt because it's not good for them. It can be toxic. Mm-hmm. So trim those paws. Mm-hmm. Paw care is a must. Yes. Paw care. And like, is it, does it talk about like the things that people rub on their feet before they go out? Yeah, like so there's like this stuff. paw um, paw protectors mm-hmm. Then you could rub and also little booties. So well, while we're on this topic, when I went to the dog park today on this chilly, windy day, I have never seen so many dressed dogs. It was like a freaking fashion show, a doggy like <laughs> fashion show out there. I was so happy that I got Gibbs' sweater on him. He was wearing a uh, knit wool sweater with a skull and crossbones on it. So he was pretty badass looking. But um, there was coats, there was booties, and on these tiny little, like, under 10-pounder, you should have seen how tiny the booties were. Like, I was like, oh, my my God, God. how did you even get those on? Like, (laughs) (laughs) they were so tiny. Or how did they stay on? Yes. But they all stayed, like, they all looked like they stayed on. I didn't see any loose articles of clothing anywhere during our walks. <laughs> and, um, yeah, they all looked pretty good. These cutesy little tootsies. But oh I, I often wonder because, like, especially, like, where any neighborhood that I've, I've ever lived in, we've I've always had an enthusiastic, like, uh, sidewalk plow guy. <laughs> like, 
comes by so much like I think more than normal it has to be but anyways because like you you know when you go to in your driveway and you get the sidewalk plow little bumps Mm -hmm. like I've never not had those because the sidewalk guy is just like so gung-ho and is like (laughs) out just like but late like leaving a trail of salt every time too and I see people walking their dogs and stuff like that and I thought like I looked at like the paw butters and stuff like that before but I've never tried it on Gibbs mostly because they're not walking like I take them to fields and stuff like that so they are very minimally exposed to salty like areas yeah I'd have to look because I feel like the paw butter before going out doesn't do anything Mm -hmm. I think it's for after Oh, it's after paw care? I'm not See, sure. See, I thought it like I thought there was like waxes and stuff that you put on before so oh, that the yeah. salt doesn't like But you think so I don't know, can salt get through something waxy? It sort of repels the salt and stuff like that a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Je sais pas. But uh Yes. Huh. Sorry to elaborate, take us to deviate from because I went for a walk today around the neighborhood and Ralph was holding one of his paws up. Oh, yeah? And I'm pretty sure it was salty. Salty oh. ouchies and not cold ouchies. Ooh. So I was like, okay, time for booties. Yep. Yeah. Next time. Yes. Um, snow, remo- snow removal. Snow removal? Snow r- removal. Removal. Is, is part of <laughs> winter dog care? Yes. How so? Something barely. that... I haven't thought about, but you know, when snow and ice accumulates on your rooftop, Mm -hmm. how often is your dog playing like near? Oh, and then it slides off. Like when it, when it melts. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Very true. Especially if you have a two story house. That, well, that gets, and a little dog. (laughs) That gets humans too. It does. I've heard over the years, like it, it can kill senior citizens and stuff like that. Like a yeah. whole sheet of ice comes off of like a tin roof somewhere. It's like heavy and it like head injures people and it's like terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That could take a doggo out. And no the other problem. thing is if you have like a short fence mm-hmm. and the snow, there's a big builds snowfall. Up. Yeah. It oh, builds yes. up and then your dog can just jump over the fence. That's true. Like, we have a little fence, but I'm not sure Ralph (laughs) would jump over it. We still have, like, the smallest baby gate to prevent him from going in the kitchen. He can totally, like, it goes up to his chest. (laughs) And he has not tried to jump over it yet. That is so funny. (laughs) And then if it moves a little, he's like... (laughs) 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 He's, like, scared of it. What is that? What is it? What is it? Oh my god! <laughs> it, bark, it barked at me. It barked at my mummy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, avoid exposure to toxins. It's antifreeze season. Oh yes. So antifreeze apparently tastes sweet, so it can be very num num for dogs. So be yes. careful where you store your antifreeze. There's some harmful chemicals in there. Mm-hmm. Um, never leave your dog unattended in the car, no matter nope. what season. Yep. Yeah. True story. In the summer or in the winter, if it's minus 40, don't do it. Don't do it. Leave your dog at home. And that's it. Yes. Well, that's a good list. S- they also say at the end, special care for seniors. Absolutely. Oh. Yep. For sure. I remember Always. taking Wiggum for a walk when he was older, and I was just so scared that he would like slip or something. Ugh. Yeah, and then and then their joints are all messed up. Yeah, no good. No, no good. Goody. They're just colder and just yeah. So, one thing that I looked up since we are heading into what? Christmas this week. Oh my god! I was looking up uh like dog gifts, like either for owners for dogs for whatever like and i found a list as well so we're going to go through it some of the stuff are things that we've mentioned on the episode and our little games of booper snoot if you've ever heard uh heard us play that but anyways i'm going to go through this list because there's some neat things in here and there's some things that i've definitely explored myself 
But there's some funny things in here too. There's one that made me laugh like right at the get-go. But anyways, the very first thing on the list is the Wicked Bone. So Vero and I had both talked about that. And it's like an e-bone that you can like, there's an app on your phone and you control it from your phone and it rolls different ways and it goes all over the place. And it's like this little electronic device that makes your dog go cray cray. And it's a good way to mentally exercise them and play with them. It looks cool. It's $69.99 at Amazon.com. Yeah, we talked about that. You can you can check on one of our last episodes if you'd like. But anyways, it's getting uh, good reviews on that thing. Yeah. I... Yep. Hmm. Hmm. The next the next one is from a website called West and Willow, and it's a custom pet portrait phone case. So <laughs> they have like oh. a different. Uh, phone cases and you can get like a portrait of your dog put on it and it's super so cute. cute and they're 50 bucks at Weston Willow Ooh. this next one oh I love so much because it's so nice it's called oh. uh, socks that save so it's um, that they're organic dogs. yes so th- they're um, 40 bucks and it, they're organic cotton socks. They look super cute. And they have like a tiny little dog paw print on it, like at the top of like the cuff of the sock. And um, the best part is that every uh, purchase includes a donation to the Best Friend Animal Society, one of the leading nonprofits that works to stop shel- shelter animals from being euthanized. <gasps> yums. Very nice. Yums. 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 The next one on the list is called the Playology Dual Layer Bone. And it is um, a bone, like it, lo- it looks like your average rubber dog, like um, toy bone. Like it's like rubber silicone or whatever. However, it says plot twist. They're scented with <laughs> flavors ranging from cheese and peanut butter to beef and chicken. And the smell is embedded in the actual fiber of the toy so that it smells like forever and it keeps them coming back for more. <gasps> cool. Something to consider. I'd be curious to know how like easily they, they break they, apart. Yeah. Some dogs are mega chewers, you know? Yes. I've mega choo chews. I've got one. You've got one? You got a mm-hmm. mega choo-choo? I got a mega choo-choo. <laughs> yeah. Matt's brother's got a mega choo-choo. Whiskey, yeah. his Bernese mountain dog. Oh. He's a mega choo-choo. He's like chewed through Kongs. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep, yeah, Ralph yep, has, yep. has bitten off like tiny pieces of the Kong, like at the smaller end, the narrow end. Yep. He's just like trying to pick at it. You got to watch out for those mega choo-choos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The next one oh, this is, is, funny. is called the Poke Pet Shop, <laughs> and you can get a Poke Pet card. <laughs> so they make a little Pokemon <laughs> card of your dog. <laughs> it's cute. It's I like cute. how there's like, like everything on this list is like for like little niches and stuff like that that people yeah. are into, right? Like the Pokemon thing was like a huge craze. So like for sure, get a Poke Pet card done. <laughs> it's 45 bucks at the Poke Pet Shop. <laughs> I think it's cute. I, I think it's cute too. I'll think it's very cute. Um, the next one is the Furbo dog camera. So I think oh, we did an episode. about that. Yeah, we talked about those before too. So mm-hmm. the Furbo is like this device that you place in your home and it has a camera and then you have access to it to your app so that you can see what your dog's during the day, doing during the day while you're at work and stuff. And you can like throw treats at them. So it has a little reservoir in the bottom that spring loads, I guess stuff for the dog so like you can call your dog over to the camera and then like give them a treat 249 bucks on amazon amazon now the next one made me laugh so hard (laughs) snoot (laughs) oh snoot oh i think i'm i might boop this one because it's just just because like they've done so well it's so funny it's so so it's the harry barker terry cloth (laughs) bathrobe So it's like a doggy bathrobe. I would oh. just because Becky takes forever to dry. Like after I give her a shower, she takes forever to dry. So if you put this on her and just let them walk around the house with it. The only <laughs> thing I would be curious about is can, will it stay on after a, a defloof, a defloof snoot. <laughs> you know, when they do the flap, 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 like yes. after they've been wet. Yeah. 
Anyways, this made me laugh so hard because it says your dog used to hate baths until the super soft, super absorbent bathrobe. You can also get it personalized with its initials if you want. And I very much want. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's cute. I think it's cute. Gibbon would love it. He loves being toweled down. Like even like when it like we keep a towel by the door and when they after they come in from outside, I don't want them dragging snow and mud and like all the stuff through our house. So, but when it's snowing outside and he comes in with like a little thin layer of snow on top of him, then I like give them the towel down and he f- freaking loves it. He's like, tell me down, mommy. Tell me down. He's like, <laughs> give it to me. It's like a give massage. It to me. Yes. He like loves it. He like jumps around and does a little dance and gets like the, the zoomies. Anyways, um, this next one we talked about. Mm-hmm. And it is the Woofers Advent Cookie Calendar. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded it sounds very german it's got the two dots over the u under yeah. woofers the woofers advent cookie calendar <laughs> 59.95 at woofers.com it's too late we're in, into december <laughs> it's true it is too late but if, if you're looking for next year though and they had a pretty good ingredients like i remember looking at it and again like yeah. if you look at the cost point and on last week's episode as we mentioned and we'll shout out again just in case is that um the dog advent calendars at costco were recalled mm-hmm. oh and actually while we're on this topic I had a coworker at work who I was talking to about it and she was like, oh my God, Heidi, she's like, did I not tell you what happened? And I was like, no. So her sister had picked up one of these advent calendars for her dog Cooper and oh, she no. was feeding them to Cooper. And then like, she noticed that they were kind of like weird too. And anyways, one day when she went to go give him the treat, there was a maggot live maggot Uh. and behind the cookie and then she opened up the other ones and there was maggots in all Uh. of them and like her brother had called to be like because he because they were the ones that purchased it costco had called them so he was like stop feeding and she's like i already did she's like i threw it out she's like i know dogs eat gross things anyways but it's one thing if he goes outside and is digging in a garden and like eats like you know a worm he finds rather than you like literally hand feeding them like maggots that's disgusting oh my god that is gross she's like i felt so bad and i'm like you well don't feel bad that company should feel bad yeah y'alls y'alls oh disgusting yep All right, the next one is called A Lovingly Drawn Portrait, and this is a London-based illustrator who uses watercolors, and it's a very beautiful photo, the one that they have here. That's really nice. It's really nice. It's, like, beautifully done. It's, like, a white background, and it's literally just the face of, like, this literally looks like a Boston, eh? Yeah. Boston Terrier or a French Bulldog or something like that. Very cute. Very, very nice. Hmm. And, of course, the price depends on how big you want it and what kind of doggy. Oh, I'm seeing Hmm. something down later later on here that looks good, too. All right. The next one is a Style Union Home Auto Pet Dish. And it's like auto. I don't mean as in automatic. Auto is in O-T-T-O. So I don't (laughs) know if this is like the company name or what this ceramic pet dish is one of the standout items from style union home the new brand from true religion co-founder kim gold the handcrafted dish comes in six colors and did i mention you can personalize the name in the front oh okay they cute they do look cute but mm-hmm. i mean it just looks like a ceramic bowl yeah if you're into ceramic bowls these are the ones for you <laughs> <laughs> 84 bucks i wonder if it's 84 bucks for a set or just like it can't be for one dish, or can it? Ooh, it's probably for one dish. They're probably handmade. Yeah. 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 Because that, the name looks like they're, oh, I don't know. Okay, this next one has got me stoked because it looks super <laughs> cute. So it's called the Dash Express Dog Treat Maker. So it literally looks like a waffle iron, except <laughs> it's, it's so like funny. little little bone-shaped treats that you put in there. So it said this is a, a cute way to create treats for your dog based on what they like and they don't dog safe batter is easy to make just mix ingredients like peanut butter and pumpkin and eggs and whole wheat flour and then throw everything into your dog's heart desires bacon bits cheese chicken and the list goes on but that's super cute it's like a little wallflower that is super cute just you can just crank them out that is super cute you can just like make nice natural treats for your doggy <laughs> in the shape of a bone 
in the shape of a bone and that's um 30 bucks at williams sonoma have you ever oh. been to williams sonoma no it's like a ginormous like kitchen store and i, I could spend hours in there oh wow i've got a weird thing for like kitchen stores yeah like, all the little gadgets everywhere it's like do we have crazy. one in ottawa no in toronto there is one though no <laughs> yons 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 all right the next one is a personalized pet stocking it's very cute so it's shaped like a paw rather than your classic stocking <laughs> and with plaid prints on it and their names and it's $14.95 at etsy.com that's pretty good very very cute mm -hmm. this next one it's like what's so great about this guy <laughs> I don't it's know. It's called Fluff and Tough Violet Unicorn Plush Dog Toy. And that's it's exactly as how it sounds, folks. <laughs> $16.99 at Amazon.com. Let's see. I won't lie to you, I buy my dog a lot of toys. None have lasted as long or so beloved as my pup's fluff and tough toys. This unicorn and <laughs> yeah. its brother, the blue dinosaur, are his constant companions. I'm not kidding. He brings both of them into bed with with us every freaking night and we have to put them through the washer and dryer every few weeks in spite of this they've held up for months plus they're filled with high quality padding that are held to the same non-toxic standards as children's toys oh hmm i don't know i wonder if that's just this individual and his dog loves the toys so he put it on the list or what maybe <laughs> oh this one looks Ooh. cool, and this looks like a mind uh, exercisers type yeah. of thing. It looks like a big straw. It does. It, so this <laughs> looks like a big bent straw, like almost like in the shape of like a stretched out Z or Z. Z? Yeah. Z is Canadians. Z is Americans, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And it's called the Wild One Bolt Bite. 13 bucks at Wild One. So it's the ultimate chew toy for dogs. So you can put little treats into each end. So it's like a hollowed out like tube. So you put it in there and then they just have to, you can use it as fetch or they try to like uh, uh, get the treats out of there. And so it's BPA free, dishwasher friendly, and it's uh, reinforced rubber. Hmm. So your dog can't tear it apart, but I bet you they can. Challenge accepted, wild one. <laughs> because <laughs> i've got a wild one now this looks super cute that is so cute. this is from a company called stellar villa and it's called the stellar villa the glam dog walk art print so it's like very cartoon stylized and the photo that they show here is like of this like gorgeously dressed woman in a purse and her dog's like making a go for it and she's like taken aback ah, ah. <laughs> holding on to the leash <laughs> while the dog's going like pulling on it a little bit but it says if you're looking for a new art piece dedicated to your beloved dog stellar villa by laura is the brand for you laura is the artist who founded the small business with her husband patrick offers both custom prints with your dog and original prints she's already drawn like this one which is how i feel 95 percent of the time <laughs> i'm out <laughs> with my dog that is hilarious that's cute if that's the one you choose, folks, talk to Let's Boop Snoots about leash training. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We can steer you in the right direction. Ooh, I like uh, the next one. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I like that it's, uh, so it's, uh, you can get it from Petco.com. So it's called the Ready Dark Gray Indoor Outdoor Corner Dog Bed. The cool thing about this corner dog bed, besides the fact that Ready, a new premium brand by Petco, is hyper-focused on sustainability, is that it, it's designed to fit seamlessly into any space, from a tiny New York City apartment to a spacious yard or, or leaving space. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's like a giant cloud. My dog spends all of his time ambling between this and his second bed. More on that in a second. Ooh. <laughs> Whoever made this list is pretty funny. It looks pretty comfy, it does. but I'm wondering, like, if, like, how big is it? Is my dog going to fit on it? I don't you know? know. I'm sure we could see the dimensions on the website. Petco.com. Yes. Now, this seems like it's more for a kid than it is for a dog or a dog lover. So it's a personalized dog book mm -hmm. that you can get from yappy.com. So this adorable book is basically like, where's, like, Waldo, but for your dog perfect for kids and grown-ups so yeah it's like if you have the family dog then you can buy this and your kids can have fun like looking for their own dog like in a book it's pretty cute it is pretty cute 
uh, this is what I was going to suggest earlier, and there's a Canadian version of this. I've, it's the Bark Box, so the subscription, so you can get different subscriptions. I can't remember if they have like one time purchases. You'd have to go to their website and explore that a little bit because I find some of the subscription box places have options for like like a one time purchase so that you can like try it out and see what you like. Um, I think it's it says here, uh, give the dog in your life a one month, three month, yeah. six month or 12 month subscription. Yeah. Perfect. Mm. And um, I th so the Canadian version one is called the Wolf Pack. Uh, and it's very it's built very similarly, I find. The thing that I found with this it, is that it depends on how much treats you're giving your dog because they usually in, like give you like one toy and you can build like they have different sized boxes of, like depending on how much stuff you want in each box. But um, there was usually like one toy, one big treat of some kind, like a bone or a chew or like a, they didn't do rawhide, I don't think. And then there was always two bags of treats. So like when you're getting it from month to month, I do not go through a bag of treats in one month. No. So we, we had like bags and bags of treats. And I was like, <laughs> hey, stop, stop with the bark box. But it was hilarious because every time we got the bark box, like my kids loved it. The dog loved it. Like he would literally like prance behind them down the hall, like into the kitchen where we would open it and they would get all stoked for it and everything. It's like they know they're like it's it's cute it's park box yeah. yes very cute i would say it's definitely worth a try try yeah. it out a doggy subscription absolutely the next one on the list is called dog threads surfing santa pajamas for dogs and people at <laughs> shopdogthreads.com so it looks pretty cute you it's can get like pajamas. matching pajamas see but like to me like that's such a waste because you're not going to leave your dog in pajamas Yes. You're not going to put on pajamas to go outside. <laughs> then you're overheating them. <laughs> 40, 42 bucks, it oh, says. Funny. Anyways, it's very cute. They got their cute little doggy, like, family photo here, but I don't know. To me, it's, like, cute. Like, this is where they get people, though, right? Like, it's, like, cute. Oh, I'm getting one. Yeah, it's so cute. And then, like, never, like, used again. For five minutes. <laughs> This is a good idea for the next one for the people who are truly in love with their dogs. And it just says a dog photography session. That's like an excellent Christmas gift to get like yeah. an ultimate dog lover because this photo and you'll never guess what's in the photo here on, on the website. Do you see it? <laughs> is it Gibbon? It is a beautiful, beautiful Weimarana. Very cute. Very cute. Um, This next one looks like it's for this the small dogs or the cats and it's the Tucker Murphy pet Boisvert felt pet cave. So I've seen these for cats mostly. It's like a felt yeah. pet caves and they love it. Is that they a real it. dog? Is it a plush toy? No, it's a real dog. It's a real that dog. Is, eh? I know those little like fluffies, those little bichon frises, so they cute. look like they do. They look like stuffies. It looks like a puppy. My, uh, so my husband's my, my mother-in-law my mother-in-law has a little miniature golden doodle and she's been talking about how like I wonder if I because like two friends of hers just got puppies because their doggies passed away and she was like I, I often think like I wonder if I should get like a playmate for Gracie like her little golden do Aww. doodle and she keeps talking about it she's like do you think I should like should I should I should I not and I was like let's get her a puppy for Christmas <laughs> <gasps> she would kill us though <laughs> she would she very much would. Um, so the felt pet cave is seventy seven ninety cents at Wayfair.com. And I wonder how big, again, I don't know that Gibbon would go inside a felt pet cave. <laughs> Ralph would not. No. Ralph would throw for, it around the living room. I think it's for the little bichon frises and yeah. the little Chinese crested <laughs> doggos. <laughs> <laughs> and that kind of thing. Holy yeah. smokes, this next one's crazy. So it's called <laughs> Dog Sweater and Pride Plus Groom Gift Set Bundle Ooh. Um, at linguafranca.nyc. So this looks like a an uppity like New York company. Uh, this gift set, which looks like it does come with a dog sweater. And then it looks like there's three bottles there. I'll have a look at it. It's uh, your favorite sweater brand. Teamed up with luxury dog brand Pride and Groom. That's cute. That's a cute name, by the way. Pride mm -hmm. and Groom. To create the ultimate gift set. 
an in dog we trust dog sweater, which is also hilarious. Well done, folks. Uh, did I mention you get a matching human version? No, <laughs> you did not. <laughs> now the price is starting to make sense. Yes. And a grooming set designed for your dog's specific skin and shedding needs. Also, 20% of every purchase goes to rescue organization Animal Haven. Well, it looks like they ticked off a lot of boxes there. They mm -hmm. got the matchy-matchy component. Yas. Nice, like, natural dog products. Yas. Yas. <laughs> Hilarious little saying on the sweaters that you matchy-matchy with Yas. And then um, a charitable portion to it. Well done. Mm -hmm. Pride and groom. <laughs> <laughs> and nice Good name for job. your company very very cute Ooh, this place looks very interesting so this next one is called sweater hound custom knitted sweater so it's 128 it nice. bucks it does look nice at sweaterhound.com this isn't just any sweater with a dog's face on it thanks to new brand sweater hound this is a custom knitted unisex sweater with your dog's face on it and it makes a great custom christmas present for the greatest dog mom or dad you know oh my cute. god I would like, I would totally get one of those. I would. Me too. I would. Oh my God. These ones are cute. So this one's, <laughs> oh, yeah, I look, I know. So it's called <laughs> Bonne et Filou Lavender Dog Macarons. $23.99 at bonnefilou.com. Unlike Aww. human macarons, these handmade French inspired dog treats are actually healthy. They come in traditional macaron flavors like vanilla, rose, mint, and lavender, but they're made with all natural dog friendly ingredients like yogurt and honey. Very good. Mm. Very, very good. Um, um. Oh my goodness, this next one looks cute too. Oh, this the is the only really thing cute. Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be like a super morbid thought, but whenever like you get personalized like dog things. The, the first thought that goes through my head is what about once they pass on, <laughs> then what are you going to do with it? You know what I mean? But that's like, I in mean, 10 years, like <laughs> 12 years. Yes. For you. Yes. Yeah. A little bit sooner for my Becky. Yeah. So it's one thing if it's a pair of socks that, you know, is eventually going to, but like when you're talking about artwork or whatever, like, like most people purchase another pet, like within a few years after like their first one passes, unless mm -hmm. they decide they don't want to be pet owners anymore which rarely happens, I would think. I wonder yeah. if there's stats on that. How soon and how many people purchase another pet after the death of a pet? Ooh, we'll have to boop about that. We will have to boop about that. But um, so I think about these things all the time. Like even the sweater, like you could wear a sweater and, and like sweaters will eventually decompensate and you throw them away or you donate them or whatever. But anyways, this next one is a personalized dog necklace, 42.84 at etsy.com so there's like it's a gold necklace and it has two little like round like uh, pendants on it and one is like a sketched uh print of your dog's face and the other one is their name it's very cute it is very, very cute, cute. Well, the one thing that goes through my mind when i see this is that well people think i'm crazy <laughs> <laughs> I think if it's like jewelry that's like super expensive, then it might be. Like obviously that's yeah. not like if if you got like a real gold necklace and spent like, you know, like three to three to five hundred dollars on it, like then yeah, I might it think you're Ralph. a tan crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph. But a lot of these companies that have like super cheap necklaces where you could like, yeah, totally write it in there. And dogs are becoming people's like uh new kids, man. Yeah. That's just a matter of fact. Yeah, that's true. I'll do this one last one because this list can go on forever. But this was one that I actually looked into getting for, for my kids this Christmas. But like it wasn't going to ship on time. And it was kind of a little awkward to use. But there's several different companies that do this. And uh, anyways, this one's called Pet Party Co. Customized Dog Socks. So it's like you upload like a picture of your dog. And then they <laughs> it, the socks have like your dog's face like all over the socks. And they're super I have cute. socks like that with Wiggum's face on it. And I got some <laughs> for my parents one year. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember which company you used? I can't remember. But they look like that. But they were just like red and or green. Yeah. And there's like, like there's several of them. And like one last thing that I will mention that it's not necessarily on the list here yet. But I bet you if you scroll down, it is. 
is I'm sure everybody's seen these companies where it's like, you, again, you upload like a print of the face of your dog and then they put it like on a, on the bust of like a very human, like they humanize your dog, like <laughs> yes. in a photo to make them look like a Lord or a lady or like an astronaut or like there's all these different themes. Mm-hmm. So there's those that people are doing like as well, which I thought was like cute and funny. It would be a cute little funny gift. Yeah. Maybe we could, like, find a place at the cottage, like a wall, to put, like, all of our pets past. Like, once they pass, then do that. So it's, like, they become, like, a oh. board of directors or, like, previous, like, uh... <laughs> yes, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Anyways. So I'll stop hmm. there because we could go on forever with the doggo gifts. But those gifts. are all good gifts. They are pretty good gifts. And on that note, we would like to wish you, our listeners, a very happy holiday. Yes. Happy holidays. From Ooh, It's going to be like after Christmas next time. I boot. know. I know. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. <laughs> From Let's Boop Snoots. Boop. Boop. Boop.